and Trey went crazy over that. She did not like it. She was most definitely scared of it. <laughs> And I'm getting ready for the day. Yesterday was pre-ride day. Today is race day. I slept like a rock. I'm so tired. <sighs> when we got here last night, my mom put this on the bed. And it's a COVID-19 coronavirus like dog toy <laughs> for Freya. I'm ready to go for the day. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi there, can I please do a large iced caramel coffee? And can I get extra caramel please? Um, can I do two of the bacon wake up wrap sandwiches? Thank you. This red is a lot. We're doing Dunkin' this morning, guys. But I tried to keep it simple with just an iced caramel coffee and I refuse to leave this drive through until I check my order. Thank you. Thank okay. you, you too. Do we think I'm gonna spill this water all in my car? <laughs> I literally almost spilled it. Oh. I lost a singular ice cube, but I'll take it. So that was a pretty good pour. I'm about a 30 minute drive to my Tex. It's gonna be a good one. Right, Freya? Mm -hmm. I literally just bought this jacket this morning because it's freezing and I didn't bring one. I stopped to get breakfast for my text. Good morning. Good morning. Freezing this morning. I am like so bundled up. Freya literally could not be bothered though. She's just sniffing. We're on like a little warm up walk, mainly for myself. <laughs> Another race day is in the books. Little Miss made it through the weekend. She did so good. With the event finally over, I have a good like two hours, two and a half hour drive home. So I'm in the Starbucks drive through line because I'm gonna need a coffee for this drive for sure. And Little Miss deserves a pub cup for sure. I think I'm gonna try a new coffee that I'm making up on the top of my head here. It's not like that outlandish, so some of you might have already tried it, but I feel like this might be good. The car behind me has a dog in it and the car behind 
behind them also has a dog in it and all of these dogs are just like patiently or rather impatiently waiting for their pup cups hi there can i please do a venti shake and espresso and instead of classic can i do um caramel please can i also do caramel drizzle extra caramel drizzle with blonde shots in that please and the salted caramel foam can i do a pup cup and a tall water please and that'll be it i got your pup cup little miss it's coming you're so cute bubbies I forgot to press record before I picked up my coffee, but of course everybody thought Freya was adorable And I of course got her a little pup cup. Good girl. You did so good this weekend. I'm so proud of you There's so much growth. You did amazing. Hold on. We're making a turn Now for my drink taste test. Looks caramely. Looks delicious <laughs> Here's the order written out so that you guys can try it. I think it's delicious, but I love my caramel. I just definitely need a coffee for this drive home because it's been a long freaking day. I'll be getting home around 6 p.m. Love that. I left my camera downstairs and I just don't feel like going to get it, so fun vlog. I just made it home and I really need to shower because it's been a long weekend. So we're gonna do that and then I feel like I'm gonna braid my hair and I will give you a rundown on the entire weekend. Freya has already made her, oh, you're out. She was already laying underneath my desk again. I was like, you made yourself at home. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, you did, of course you did. We're clean, finally. That shower felt amazing. It was kind of cold like all weekend and it was really windy. So I felt really like, what's the word? Dehydrated just from sitting outside and like, I don't know, getting like that like freezer burn feel, you know what I mean? As soon as I got out, I like moisturized my entire body and I just feel so much better. I'm about to put some Aquaphor on my lips because my lips were chopped all weekend. It was a fun event weekend and it went really well, but the weather was a little iffy. I've only braided my hair once since cutting it and like getting my little like curtain bangs and the last time I did it I braided it with my bangs out just to see how that would look but today I want to try braiding it all back and just see what happens I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because I feel like I'm gonna take this out tomorrow and my bangs are gonna be like crimped and short and just like all over the place but we're gonna go for it but I posted some like videos and pictures and stuff of the weekend on my Instagram to so some of you guys have already known this but the weekend went really really well Freya did a amazing like I was <laughs> low-key terrified or maybe high-key terrified just because the last time she went to an event it was not pretty <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like that again because I swear we both had mental breakdowns last time <laughs> and it went really well there was like a handful of times that she definitely quote-unquote like acted out but also I was kind of expecting it or like I knew it was gonna happen and I think that we both handled the weekend so much better because I talked about this in Freya's nine month pup date which is where I like really did a rundown on that terrible weekend for us and like why I think it went so poorly and everything and I said this many 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 times so I don't know if you guys have heard this before from me but I'm definitely of the thought process that like everything your dog does good or bad is your fault kind of thing obviously it's either like I trained her to do that or I haven't trained her to not do that I definitely take full responsibility for the last time I took her to an event and I think that I handled her little like handful of times being crazy so much better this time I was like fully prepared mentally and like physically like I brought all the things that I needed to kind of thing the few times that she like acted out again were like I guess normal in my eyes but she is very food motivated <laughs> and so when people like walk by and they have food in their hands and stuff like she definitely will like go towards them or walk towards them at one point I was like walking her through the crowd this is probably the most embarrassing part I like want my child Freya to be like well behaved and everything and I know that like dogs are dogs and there's tons of dogs at these events with me <laughs> and probably like 90% of them are not well trained anyways so Freya's already doing like amazing in comparison, but when she does little things like this, I'm like, God damn it, why do you have to do that? But we were walking through the crowd, somebody walked past with like a hot dog in their hand and she legitimately jumped up like towards them to like steal his hot dog. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And he just laughed about it, thank God. This bitch is crazy about food. So that's probably like the worst of it. She got really excited when the bikes would ride past her really close because she wants to like run with them. Again, I was well prepared for that. I know that she's like that. If I knew that the bikes were gonna ride past her, I'd go ahead and give her some treats or throw them in the grass so that way she'd have to like sniff and search for them to kind of you know divert her attention away from them which worked really well this was the last of this kind of race and it's like a kids mountain bike race and since it's like the last one of the year and it's the closest or you know the last one closest to Halloween and stuff a lot of people dressed up 
up in costume. And I will say that Freya is a, a scaredy cat. And if she doesn't know like what the hell's happening or what something is, like she'll bark at it, especially at night. I feel like she's also scared of the dark <laughs> and she'll just bark at things that are outside that she doesn't know. And so this person was walking by in a full on like Sasquatch outfit, like hairy and everything, mask on, like whole thing. And Freya went crazy over that. She did not like it. She was most definitely scared of it. <laughs> there was a couple of kids in costume as well. Like they had like the blow up, uh, like T-Rex, you know, costume thing that she also did not like. There was like a shark costume, like anybody in costume she was like terrified of. But I was kind of able to get her attention quicker than how it has been in the past or, you know, get her to like calm down or, you know, stop barking, which I was happy about. I forgot that I also just got layers in general with my bangs. And so my braids are kind of funky now because my hair used to be all one length before. So it braided real nice and nothing like popped out of it. But now they look a little cray cray. But if you can tell, I got this little doohickey here and there's a couple other ones. <laughs> I'm just interested to see how the bangs actually look when I take my braids out. Cause I'm kind of scared they're just gonna like t -t -t go straight up. But yeah, overall it was like night and day with Freya at this race since the last time she came. And I feel like a proud dog mom for her growth. And I think some of it is really just, you know, age that she's not in the teenage phase anymore. And that, yeah, we've been working on a lot since then. And it's been so long, like it's been basically a year. She has done so good. I only have one more event of the year, thank goodness. And it's in two weeks. So I get a weekend off and then I do my last event. And that event is like a huge one. Like it's ginormous. It's gonna be a lot. It has been a lot. We've been planning this for like a month or two, but I'm excited for event season to be over. Cause then I get like my weekends back. I'll start working a little bit more at Starbucks again, which I'm excited for. Cause I love everybody that I work with there. But I worked another 13 hours yesterday and today and I'm exhausted. I'm gonna figure out what I'm having for dinner. I'm gonna crawl into bed, probably have a margarita and pass out. <laughs> we will see how these turn out tomorrow, but here's the nice look at them. I definitely have <laughs> some poking out here, so that's gonna be fun. I love you guys so much, more than you will ever know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.